parenting. Hoes. Drugs. Bitches. Father figures. Bitch niggas. Mentors. Alcoholics. People that you need in your goddamn life. Crackheads. Entrepreneur. New crackheads. Successful business people. Ugly children. Welcome to NTS, which stands for niggas talking shit. What's what? up, everybody? Big Herc 916. Jeff Brown. NTS. You already know. What's up? So, uh, Jeff, man, um, one of the viewers uh, emailed in and they were asking, um, how do we define the culture? You know, when you say the culture, um, which naturally they're referring to the black culture because how it influences all the other cultures. Mm -hmm. How would you define that? Uh, the culture. Okay, well, black people have defined what is cool since we've been here. We're the purveyors of cool. Um, I think the culture is the, in the broadest sense generally uh, describes what young people think is cool. Generally, when mm -hmm. you're talking about culture, <clears throat> when you generally think culture, you think 18 to 54, what are they doing? Then you get into subcultures, kids, seniors, artists, husbands, wives, the culture becomes something different depending upon who's looking at it, what the culture is. But for the most part, it's just what the cool people, who do we think is cool and what are they doing? And, and you know, uh, adding to that, I think because of social media and the way information travels now mm -hmm. um, where culture um, would have uh, various deviations in, in, in various areas demographics mm -hmm. so you had more of a um, diversity in that mm -hmm. now with the way things are you know kind of disseminated or I don't know if that's the right correct word but actually um, uh, Broken I guess, down. Broken down. Um, you have now one, like one narrative where you know somebody's trying to say this is just the culture, and what I mean by that is like you have an image of a particular demographic, and that's what you're bombarded with. Mm -hmm. The diversity issue is it, you don't see it as much where you know um, you would see these guys in suits and they're GQ'd up or these. These guys over here are more and maybe joggers, or whatever. Then you have the guys over here who are more hip hop. But now it's like, to me, I see that they're trying to meld, melt it into one, which is very deceiving because not everybody acts or dresses like Any that. Way. You yeah. know, it, it's not everybody um, is into um, or, you know, sagging or, um, you know, wearing certain 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 garments that you would see uh in a in a in a woman's fashion store you know not every it, but it's like they it's like they're trying to almost almost superimpose that and i think that that's where the culture gets messed up because you know culture it it, it should it should it should have its diversity it should have its mm -hmm. um you know its own identity in in, in each demographic to where people can express themselves but it's like not everybody has the same expression. Well, yeah, and you can always expect culture to change purely from this. I don't want to do what my uncle's name was doing. I don't care how cool it is. Mm -hmm. We want to find our own cool. And without a grasp on what's behind you, you're going to run out of, you're going to, you're going to run out of things that makes sense in the moment if you're always looking for something that's never been done. That by default means you're gonna do some shit like uh, the first dude to wear sneakers with a suit. 
Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You're going to run into nobody's doing that. Mm -hmm. Nobody's. And can you deal with that? Can you deal with uh, some of the shit you're going to do in culture is just stupid and wrong and you don't find it out for 10 years and then you look back and go, that was dumb. And, and I think it's all right in culture, you know, in the whole the culture is, you know, if you want to be that nerdy black guy. Right. Or, you know, nerdy white guy and you're not into um, maybe playing football or you're not into maybe um, the street stuff and smoking weed and whatever the case may be, that's all right, too. You don't have to let culture, what they call the culture, define you, which is what a lot of guys have a problem, like young people trying to figure out where they fit in because they see, you know, this image projected and they think if that's, if I'm not getting down with that image, then I'm not part I'm of the cool, outsider. I'm an outsider. You know, I'm not part of cool culture. And I, de you know, growing up, I, I always was outside of the norm. One of the only few black skaters, you know, one of the only mm -hmm, guys, mm -hmm. you know, when I was BMXing and stuff, you know, other brothers BMX, but we, you know, I was always into like, you know, taking it to the next level and, mm -hmm. and just trying to be different be, and, and find myself. And, you know, when you aren't able to do that, it, it, I think, I think it's, it stifles you, man. So, you know, I think everybody should pursue their own identity in a sense and mm -hmm. the culture, it should not be defined by, you know, what we considered, you know, a lot of the imagery we see in, 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 in music videos or, or, or what you see in some of these movies. Come, be, be original, be your own. You don't have to follow them in right. order to be, you know, part of the culture. Culture is everybody. You know, you like to dress, you like to do this, you like to rock, um, you know, like you, uh, Pumas with, with a suit on, or you like to, you know, w walk around with your, with, your, with your laptop and wear a little bow tie. There's nothing wrong with that. That's you. And, 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 and you can be perfectly um, in the mix with your own identity, even if you aren't doing what you've seen this guy doing in the latest um, hip hop video. Yeah, well, yeah, I was going to say that. Culture isn't what they are. Culture is what you are. Yes, yes. Somebody, some dudes, some girls, some people, somebody likes exactly what you like. And fuck the people who don't. Not from a fuck you standpoint, but from a, I like this. Yeah. I'm not hurting nobody with it. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm not hurting myself with it. Um, I'm not putting any negativity in the world with it. So fuck you if you don't get it. Be who you is. And whoever you is, is who you're supposed to be if you are striving to be your best. And it doesn't matter what you wear. If you a suit dude, be a suit dude. Mm -hmm. If you a skater dude, be a skater dude. But don't be the dude that doesn't know who he is. And then crucifies himself and others because they aren't something else. You don't even know what you wanna be, but you're gonna be these people. And since you've decided to be these people, anybody who's not those people ain't the shit. That's bullshit. And, and um, also, you know, be careful what you copycat. Yeah. I was talking with somebody else earlier about that. You copycat the wrong things and those things aren't really in alignment with where you're going. Yeah, spiderweb yet, tattoos on your yeah, elbow. You don't realize till later on, why'd I do that? You know, when right. you, you copycat the right people, it, it, could, it could change your life mm -hmm. for the better. Mm -hmm. So, you know, culture, it, you know, it, it has a big impact. I mean, we see imagery on, you know, on magazines, on a lot of these just, just social media postings and stuff. But don't let those images mm -hmm. impact you to change who you are because you have to find your own path, your own identity. And that's what makes you special and, and what, you know, what makes you uh, who you are. And just because you're black don't mean you can't be a surfer. Doesn't mean you can't, you know, play uh, tennis or you can't, uh, you know, be a, a NASCAR driver or F1 race. Whatever it is you want to be that you've never seen somebody do, even if you haven't done it, doesn't mean that you're not capable because the culture, it doesn't fit their norm. As what they a, consider their norm. As a matter of fact, if you see something that no one who looks like you has done it, that's what you're supposed to be doing if it burns in you. Mm -hmm. 
If it burns in you, you give a fuck who didn't do it before you. You don't even so. If it burns in you to paint, then goddamn it, paint. Mm -hmm. Or surf, or sing, or whatever you were put here to do. Do that. Be that. Become that. And there is a subculture in that. And if you are passionate about that, the same people who are passionate about the same thing you are, guess what? That's your culture. Mm -hmm. This is really that simple. It's uh, uh, what happens is when you let the NBA fan culture and you let the the NFL fan culture and the popular music fan culture shit on the butterfly watchers culture. Look here. You want to get you some some of them tan shorts mm -hmm. with that safari hat and the binoculars and wait on a fucking monarch butterfly? You get your ass out there and wait on that butterfly. Because what you're going to find is some other people waiting on the butterfly. It, and then the dude that's waiting on the butterfly with you, he might have a it, fly it's, sister. It's funny you say that too because I was just, uh, I, I don't know, was it me and you watching ESPN a couple weeks ago? Hmm. And um, it, what's the game where they throw the damn, the little thing corn like this? Cornholing? Dude, they had a cornhole shootout on ESPN and then people would cheer and clapping like yeah. bowling. I said, I've never seen that I on TV. No idea I didn't even know they had a, I seen it at like, like you said at a party or something, but yeah. I know there was a professional cornhole Dude, uh, league. I always thought cornholing was an unfortunate event that happened in a prison shower against your will. I Is that never, what they really call a cornhole? Cornholing? Dude, your asshole's a cornhole. You're taking it in a cornhole. It's, it's, am I the first? <laughs> Come on. So how they come, because it, dude, I don't have any idea. When I heard there was a, I swear to you, when I heard that there was a video about cornholing, I went to Pornhub. I, I swear, <laughs> cornholing. I just, I'm not the yeah, only Yeah, they got person. a league for that, man. And these guys were, they, they, they were, yeah, I'm like, damn. I didn't know that that was, you know, I've seen bowling. Yeah. But I never knew that that was that serious. To where these guys were like, you the know, the new I, common man past. Yeah, time. man. So there you go. I mean, they're uh, they're the culture. There's something for everybody. Yeah, the, 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 yes. This yes. guy can't run a football, but he can toss a damn cornhole. He can toss. He's a cornhole champion. Cornhole champion. So, so, what he has to try to not do is fall into the trap of uh, feeling some kind of way because his cousin is a strong safety for LSU. And now, because the world is kissing his cousin's ass, his culture ain't shit. Mm -hmm. No, fuck that. Mm -hmm. Fuck that. Don't compare your culture to anyone else's. If it makes you happy, it makes people around you happy, you ain't endangering no kids or animals, then fuck it. That's it. And, and I, I know, and um, I just had a little flash because my little nephew was asking one time, he was talking, he's talking about... um people thought he was different because he was in the anime, like the drama mm -hmm. anime. And I'm like, there's nothing wrong with that. Just no. because, you know, you want to, that's, that's something you enjoy doing. Just because they don't like it doesn't mean it's any less for you because they don't like it. You know, be you, man, you know, and don't be afraid to define yourself rather than let somebody else or something define you. And don't, uh, that, and that's another problem. Um, coming up with the phrase for it as I'm speaking to you. Don't velvet rope your own culture. Meaning, don't, as a teenage kid in love with anime, I have one. He loves anime. And fortunately, he's fallen into a crop of dudes just like him. Mm -hmm. Cool little nerdy dudes, they ain't in nobody's gang. They ain't, they ain't out here on no knucklehead shit. They like what they like. They like anime. But you can't velvet rope anime and go, we don't deserve to be cool because we can't dunk basketballs. Find the cool in anime. Yeah. That's your culture. The yeah. Other people who dig, bruh, I've seen some of the, the, the cartoons that they watch. I'm a grown ass man. I don't have time to sit around and watch cartoons. I'm just, bro, we both have 37 jobs, so mm -hmm. I don't have time to do it. But I can see how you would dig it, and I don't get to put, 
I don't get as a father to pressure you to shoot layups because I wanted to be one of the Lakers. If you like anime, then do get into anime. Mm -hmm. The only problem I have with it is I'm such a fucking hustler is you don't get to just like anime. Can you draw anime? Mm -hmm. Can you uh, voice over anime? Can you sell anime? Can you write anime? Where's the bread? Mm -hmm. That's yeah. I mean, it, it, the key is like turning like something in, like you love doing into uh, a actual Revenue. monetized instrument. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, I, I was just thinking like, you know, when I see guys, some of these guys, like some of the stuff they're doing on like the motorcycles and bikes. I mean, what man a do think that he could build a ramp that's like 40 foot in the air and, and do, they call it big jump. Mm -hmm. and he's going to jump a gap. Uh, 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 like you know, for another forty or fifty feet to land on the other side, who concocts that? I mean, dude, you you gotta be. I mean, who who, who thinks of taking a motorcycle? I mean, Evil Knievel was doing crazy shit, mm -hmm. but these dudes now, they on some. Oh other, my god! Well, I mean, I tell you how to get there. It starts. Uh, it starts with the low ramp in the middle of the street. <laughs> You get down on the end of the block and ride your pedal fast as you can, fast as you can, and jump over that ramp. And uh, I got a little story that goes like that. that, that that's about that very subject. When we take you on a ride. It's gonna be worth the trip. I was 17, 16, 17 when my parents bought a house in Maywood, which is a suburb of Chicago that used to be really nice. Now it's just West Hell. It, it really used to be dope. God bless Maywood, but y'all know what I'm talking about. It's fucked up right now. Um, this was the place where black people who gave a fuck about their property moved. Mm -hmm. So we get out there and, bro, I'm coming from 60th and Damon. Look up zip code 60636. That shit is the hell. I, it's, it's been hell since the 70s. It's hell now. We moved out into this suburb and all the dudes out there had these cool Schwins, the green and yellow Stingray, the red and yellow, the blue and gray, I had a Schwinn Varsity because the dudes around my way was riding them 10 speeds trying to look like the big dudes. Mm -hmm. They in the alley jumping their bikes. They going as fast as they can. I get it in my mind. But if y'all going fast as you can on a one speed, I'm going to back up a block. Nah, I'm new in the neighborhood. Make it two. I, black, I backed up two suburban alley blocks. Now in the suburbs, the alley is nice and paved and smooth, ain't no rocks and shit. Bro, I start out in 10th gear. <laughs> I start out. Oh, you're gonna try to jump on a 10th speed? Bro, I got that 10th speed up to a good 35, 40 miles an hour. I'm hauling, garages are going past me like this. When I hit that ramp, <laughs> hurt, I was up in the air <laughs> looking at the neighborhood. I was up over garages. On a two-speed. On a two-speed, like oh ET. My God. And, uh, Blam! Oh. Came down and bit my rear wheel. All my friends was like, oh! I got new friends. I'm new to the neighborhood. I just jumped to 10 speed. But after oh. that, my wheel had this thing in it like this. My daddy saw the jump. He goes, great jump. But you're going to be riding that bike like that all goddamn summer because I'm not buying you. So here I was with my friends for the rest of the summer after trying to be what they were. Fuck my bike up. Yeah. I was still a hero to this day. If you go to Maywood, nobody's jumped their bike over a garage. Yeah. But I learned that whole summer that it's a price. It's a price to be paid for trying to shine. It's a price to be paid for trying to do look at me to get into, to fit in. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Don't look, don't do the look at me. You are gonna find, if you're true to yourself, if you do what you love, if you do what pulls at you, what aches, if you do that and you do it well and you figure out whether it's worth monetizing and how, You'll either find, wow, you'll either find the culture or you will become mm -hmm. the culture. Yeah, define but, the culture. But chasing a culture 
not for the love of it, but for the cool of it, it's a mistake. And there you guys have it, NTF. Y'all already know. <laughs>